this is Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and I'm here today on the Carnival Breeze with Drago, the senior maitre d', and we are going to do a quick interview and ask him a few questions and learn a little bit about the maitre d's responsibilities. So, first off, um, Drago, where are you originally from? I come from, I was born in uh, Bosnia. Okay. Uh, when I was like four years old, my, my parents moved to Slovenia. Slovenia used to be like ex-Yugoslavia. And I am there still. Okay. Right. Actually, my home is now Carnival, you know, and <laughs> for the last 15 years, my home was Carnival. Yes. And from now onwards, will be Slovenia, definitely. Okay. Right. So that answered my next question, as I was going to ask you. Well, how long have you been a maitre d'? Is that just with Carnival? Or? Um, at home, you know, when I, I started to work in 1988, 1990, I was uh, working as a maitre at home. Okay. And due to some circumstances, I changed my path. I moved to the cruise line. Mm -hmm. First time I started to work with the Crystal Cruises. Right. And mm -hmm. um, after the Crystal Cruises, I had a long break for eight years and I joined the Carnival Cruise Line in 2003. Mm -hmm. And since uh, 2008, I've been working as a maitre on the Carnival Cruise Line. Okay, great. And we did just find out that Drago, this will be his last week on the ship. He's actually retiring, so it's kind of nice to get an interview with him. Um, do you have family back home? And if so, um, do they often come on the ship and travel with you? Or how does that uh, work? That's a great question. You know, Carnival is a great company. It gives the opportunity to the management and to the crew members to bring the family on board. You know, like for my position, I can bring my family for eight weeks. They can stay with me. Okay. on board i have my own uh, uh, private cabin so mm -hmm. they can stay with me it's quite big for three of us mm -hmm. at this time i have my daughter and my lovely wife they are cruising with me yes for we just this, met them and they're, yes. they're very and, lovely uh, they're coming every time i uh, come on board they're coming with me for the last two months before i sign off so they've been like cruising for like several times okay so we did a lot of nice and i'm really thankful to kind of to allow us to do something like that Okay, um, and what made you decide to take a job at the cruise line, with the cruise line? Uh, challenge, I was always uh, the home, work at home was not that much challenge for me. Mm -hmm. I was always looking forward to get more challenge and more responsibility and uh, to get more opportunity and uh, Carnival Cruise Line and the Crystal Cruise, they gave me a lot of opportunity to, to progress, to, to ex uh, excel and to be okay. successful in my job. Okay. Um, did you originally start in the food service industry or um, before coming on the ship or was this the As I mentioned before, I work at home in the, in a nice uh, resort in Slovenia, in Portoroz, in a Grand Hotel Metropole, which is like a five-star operation. Okay. I start as a regular waiter okay. and where I grow my career up to the assistant restaurant manager. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I've been always there and uh, I love what I do. Okay. And then once you started on the ship, did you start as a maitre d' or did you start no, definitely down not. and work your way up? What's, yes. what's I the start, progression? Uh, as I mentioned, first time I joined the Crystal Cruises in 1990 in December, I start as a, it's called like a waiter. After a couple of months, mm -hmm. with the hard work, dedication to the job, I progressed to the next level of the head waiter and, mm -hmm. and so on. And on up. Okay. Yeah. Um, what makes someone qualified to be a maitre d' for a cruise line? Uh, maitre d', you, first of all, you need to love what you do. Right. <laughs> to work with the people, we know that it's not an easy task to nobody. So, so you need to really have a passion for that. Mm -hmm. You need to be ready to dedicate yourself to the cruise line on the ship and uh, to be a leader for your team. Example, in my team, I have 346 team members, which are oh, wow. directly under my supervision. And on this ship, we have 4, uh, 4,900 guests. Mm -hmm. There is yeah, a maximum like capacity, ship. you know. Mm -hmm. And it's a really nice um, experience to work with. That's big. Right. Proud. Okay. Um, as a maitre d', what are your main responsibilities? My main responsibilities, it's like, um, to organize the restaurant service operation smooth to make sure that we have enough uh, material on board to work to make sure that we have enough uh, team members to make sure that uh, team members are being properly trained properly assigned to the position 
to ensure that our guests uh, having a memorable dining experience with the reservation when they come on board to assign the guest and um, to be always around for them when they need you. Okay. And are you just overseeing the dining rooms or do you have anything to do with the steakhouse or just the, uh, the dining rooms? Under my responsibility comes all the restaurants on board. We have in uh, on the deck uh, zero where is the crew. We have like a five rest, uh, sorry, five restaurants. Yes, we have for staff, officers, petty officers, senior officers, restaurants. Which one they have separate kitchen, separate team working there, but they are coming under my supervision directly. Mm -hmm. Also, little restaurant, our red cell restaurant, which comes under my supervision. Um, Cucina. Steakhouse, Bunzai. Oh, okay. It's not directly under my uh, responsibility, it goes more for the food operation mm -hmm. manager, but I'm still involved as well right. in this operation. Okay. And of course, definitely in this both main dining rooms, okay. each one they hold. Right. Okay, and how does, as far as the chefs and the maitre d' and the staff do, as, do they all pretty much get along well, or is there any issues between? You know, between them it's, uh, as I mentioned, it's everything depends of uh, or the personality on board. We are all here for one common goal. We are here to make sure that our guests have a memorable vacation. And uh, of course, we will do everything to make sure that this happen. Okay. And uh, we have very good uh, cooperation with the kitchen staff, culinary team, with the executive chef and uh, myself. We work very well together on daily basis and uh, it's a great cooperation. And I have not much to say then everything is excellent. Okay, great. What is the hardest or most challenging job as a maitre d'? The most hardest and challenging job for a maitre d' is uh, working with so many crew members from different nationality. For example, 64 different nationalities we have in the restaurant service operation. And you need to know how to treat the crew members. What is mean for me it's good might be for somebody rude. Right. Because they are coming from different um, nationality, different mentality, different temper. So you need to adapt yourself to your crew members. Okay. And the crew members need to show you um, respect, not because you're military, because you know your job, because you're showing your authority that you are right. ready, that you are ready there for them and you are listening for them and uh, you are uh, for them when they need you. Okay, All right. Um, what is more challenging for the servers, your time dining or the assigned dining times, which is harder for them to... Uh, definitely your time dining because uh, you can get uh, in um, less than 15 minutes completely fully mm -hmm. okay. than uh, regular assigned dining. Okay. Definitely your time dining. Right. Yeah. Um, there's kind of a funny question. How often do any of the servers spill the big trays? Of well, it's <laughs> happened, you know, people working, uh, making an uh, example today. <laughs> Coincidentally, one of our wait staff spilled the uh, <laughs> syrup on top of the guest clothes. Oh, no. <laughs> so we immediately approached the guest, apologize, offer them laundry okay. complimentary, and so on. And we make sure that nothing happened to the guest. The guest doesn't get burnt or whatever. Right. Okay. And I have one final question. And this was a tricky one. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of hearing the famous? song that everyone hears on their last night of the cruise, leaving on a fun ship. <laughs> you want an honest answer? Or to... Yeah, an honest answer. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a kind of uh, really emotional situation mm -hmm. when the guest, you know, really enjoying this uh, last farewell party right. with us. And uh, it's kind of an emotional song. and. It, and it works well, you know. Okay. So yeah, I see. The we, guests like it, you know. Yeah, you will hear, it, them, it is, you will hear this forget. tomorrow night, okay? Right, so you let me know tomorrow night. I all know. Right? We have a friend that cries every time. That's why I ask every time she's on yeah. a cruise. So, so, anyways. Okay. Well, hope you enjoyed our interview with Drago, the senior maitre d' on the Carnival Breeze. And we wish you well on your retirement. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank senior maitre d' on retired already. <laughs> officially retired from. October 12th. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Thank Still you. Still young to retire, but we're <laughs> looking for the new chapter of our life, which starts now. Yes. With yeah. my family, which is now a priority for me, number one. Right. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Thank I you very you much. Thank you. Happy cruising. Thank you. <laughs>